This is a podcast from the Radcliffe Department of Medicine. Dr Jan Raywinkel talks about the role of our innate immune system in our fight against flu virus. Hello Jan. Hi Anna. What is special about flu virus? A flu is a virus uh, that um, we call influenza A virus in the lab and it causes uh, annual uh, epidemics. But what's actually really special about this virus is uh, that we are under the constant threat of a new highly pathogenic, very dangerous virus, virus emerging. And um, uh, this virus could cause a pandemic outbreak. Why do these highly pathogenic viruses do emerge sometimes? And uh, that is because uh, flu has a very uh, special property in that it not only infects us as humans, but also a number of different animals, including pigs, uh, chickens, or other birds. And in addition to that, uh, flu has a very special way of storing its genetic information. The genetic information of this virus is uh, contained in eight pieces of genetic information that we call genome segments. And what this virus can do is that it can swap uh, individual genome segments between different virus isolates. And in particular, if that occurs between viruses that infect us and that infect, uh, for example, chickens or other birds, then uh, there is a chance that a very highly pathogenic, very dangerous virus is emerging. And what is our immune response to flu? So our immune response uh, starts initially when our cells in our body detect the presence of the virus. And the uh, immune response that then ensues can be divided into two different stages. Uh, the first stage is called uh, the innate immune response. And uh, this uh, very rapidly starts upon infection and often helps to contain the spread uh, of the virus and the uh, propagation of the virus. And a little bit later, the second uh, step uh, starts and that's called the adaptive immune response. And the adaptive immune response is characterized by being very specific, uh, targeting uh, uh, the virus that infects us. And if everything goes well, the adaptive immune response clears the virus from our system. Um, now, what has emerged over the last uh, few years is that uh, the second wave of the immune response, the adaptive immune response, is not only started, but also instructed and directed by the first uh, uh, wave of the immune response the innate immune response and that in turn is started by the initial detection of the virus uh, of flu virus so we've decided to study that very first step the initial detection of the virus by the cells in our body and um, we know that uh, our uh, cells have uh, proteins called receptors and these receptors uh, recognize the presence of viruses and uh, we're working on one particular receptor called uh, the regai protein and uh, this uh, regai protein detects presence of influenza virus and what we've recently discovered is that uh, Regai detects the presence of the virus by recognizing, by sensing the presence of genomic uh, information uh, from this virus. And how does this receptor distinguish the viral genetic material from our own? Our cells uh, contain uh, lots of genetic information that is contained in a molecule uh, called a DNA, which is uh, related to the RNA genome of the virus. And this DNA of our own cells is then transcribed into RNA, into messenger molecules that are, that are then uh, eventually translated into proteins uh, that realize the, gen the genetic information. So that means that our cells, already in the absence of a virus, contain uh, quite a high amount of RNA. So how can this reg -I receptor that we're working on distinguish between the RNA of a normal uninfected cell and uh, the RNA genome that comes in when a virus uh, such as flu infects these cells? And what we found out is that uh, the difference uh, lies at uh, one of the ends of these RNA molecules and uh, cellular RNAs contain a structure called the cap structure that is a small a chemical modification at one end uh, of these molecules. However, the RNAs from the virus lack uh, this cap structure and um, what Regai, the immune sense, is actually recognizing is the presence of RNAs that lack uh, these cap structures as found in uh, the genome of influenza virus. And uh, that is a, an explanation for why this receptor only starts an immune response when actually a virus has infected our cells and not in the absence of virus infection. So what are the most important lines of research that have developed over the past five or ten years? Many people have studied uh, the second wave of the immune response, the adaptive immune response, for many, many decades. But what's come uh, more to a realization recently is that the innate immune response uh, that uh, precedes the adaptive immune response as a first wave of defense is not only important in starting the adaptive immune response, but in fact also shapes and instructs the outcome of the adaptive immune response. So the innate immune response is uh, very important and progress over the last five to ten years has revealed a number of receptors that detect different uh, infectious microorganisms, not only viruses such as influenza virus, but also bacteria or parasites. 
and uh, uh, there's, uh, despite this progress, uh, much to be learned about how these receptors uh, detect individual pathogens and what effects uh, they bring about in the innate and eventually adaptive immune response. So why does your line of research matter? Why should we put money into it? Flu is a very important uh, virus to human health. Annual uh, seasonal epidemics alone kill around half a million people worldwide. And uh, if a new, a highly pathogenic, very dangerous uh, pandemic virus uh, would emerge, that could kill many, many more people. So we believe that uh, understanding how the immune response uh, during influenza virus is initiated and triggered by these receptors that we work on, uh, we will get uh, uh, some ideas on how to influence and control the immune response in infected humans. And in addition to that, uh, we believe that this knowledge about immune responses to flu will also help us in uh, develop better vaccination, vaccination strategies uh, for flu virus. And beyond that, uh, flu is not the only virus, of course, that infects uh, humans. For example, uh, 30 million people worldwide are infected with HIV-1. This is a different virus, but there are also uh, immune receptors in our cells that recognize the presence of this virus and start an immune response. However, that is not very well understood, and we're now trying to expand our research to uh, study how HIV-1 is detected, given that it's so important for human health. And how does your research fit into translational medicine within the department? So we are uh, overall uh, studying how viruses such as flu or HIV-1 are recognized by the innate immune system, and uh, that will have impacts on managing infectious disease and on managing uh, vaccinations. But there is also uh, another aspect to it, and that is that uh, humans often suffer from autoimmune diseases, uh, such as lupus. And in these diseases, you have a situation that could be described as friendly fire, where our immune response is started, although uh, no virus or no uh, infectious uh, microorganism is present. And uh, we believe by understanding the mechanisms of how immune responses are triggered during virus infections, we may also get some insights in understanding why these responses are uh, triggered inappropriately in these autoimmune diseases. And uh, we are hoping to uh, extend our uh, research uh, from not only uh, studying the recognition of viruses to also understanding why immune responses are apparently uh, triggered uh, in autoimmune diseases. Thank you, Jan. Thank you.